What is good, everybody? Um, this is uh, my week two assignment where I'm just gathering a bunch of reference images and uh, I'm just going to talk about the entire process of uh, week two. Uh, I think it'd just be easier if I just broke this down into chunks so it's easier to follow. Hopefully this can help anyone out there. It's going to be a slightly shorter video. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys don't like the long ones. <laughs> but um, yeah, right now I am currently um, just continuing with copying um, stills and frames, trying to really get some exaggerated um, movements, really trying to uh, push faces, really trying to understand uh, shapes and how they relate to the characters. Um, doing a lot of tracing and then freehand drawing of my own, but also trying to like understand the line of action and all this stuff. Um, this is uh, nothing new to me. Like I've been doing this ever since I was a kid. Um, tracing from like Mega Man drawings, Pokemon, Power Rangers, and etc. Growing up, probably just dated myself right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, th this week was kind of challenging because. Anyone who's like kept up with me, follow my content, uh, follow me on social media, especially on Instagram, that you guys know that I mostly draw anime and drawing in Disney style is kind of like, ugh, this is like my vegetables. Like, I don't really enjoy it, but I do see the value within doing this because it's teaching me how to exaggerate the forms a lot more and um, just really utilizing the program that I have. So even if I draw like a little bit too big or anything like that, I can always just shrink it down and have it in a place, warp it around. Um, as I'm talking to my mentor about all these things, she says that all this stuff is totally A-OK. -okay. So for those who are purists and you're like, no, you gotta be able to draw this on the fly, on the go, and you're not even like talking from experience about being in the industry, I think that's like the one thing that kind of pees me from like the art community online is that <sighs> everyone has like this this pride this ego about like being the kim jung gi of art and i'm like you know it takes years years to be anywhere close to him to like hold a candle to this person and it's it's insane that we're um that a lot of us try to be that standard just because he can do it at that moment in time where I'm sure a lot of us we come from the background of tracing, especially when we were children. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, I'm really trying to um, exaggerate the poses, really trying to be loose, trying to be descriptive and loose at the same time. Um, I'm fighting a lot with like a lot of my earlier uh, teachings from other mentorships, uh, especially when it comes to concept art, because uh, uh, I was uh, strictly drilled and taught to make sure that everything is drawn proportionally correct, nothing too exaggerated. Uh, we're trying to stick close to realism, but this is animation, baby. So we gotta be expressive and loose. So I'm trying to keep that in mind and trying to battle that other side of my mind of like, <laughs> you know, this is not proportionally correct. <laughs> but I think the imperfections and how loose and how wonky and crazy uh, you can really push a form really uh gives like i guess the illustration a little bit more umph i don't know if that if that's making any sense it makes it a little bit more appealing than um a regular stiff drawing if that makes any sense um i'm having a hard time trying to keep the size for certain characters and try to like I, like i'll make um hooks partner a little bit too thin when he's supposed to be like pretty bigger you try to be he's supposed to be like rounder in, in some ways but i keep making him uh slimmer because <laughs> maybe i don't draw bigger characters often but i'm trying my best to just uh drive that point across like this is his shape his shape is round <laughs> yeah so this is uh all the stuff that i've been doing throughout this entire week while i'm also trying to make content on the side so there's gonna be lots and lots and lots of videos i'm gonna be posting very soon uh i thought it'd just be easier if i just broke this up in chunks <laughs> just to let you know that i'm doing this as of like this is my homework i'm gonna do the homework and then we're gonna do a recap and i will show you um the notes that i'm getting from 
um, my mentor. I'm getting the feedback so you guys can understand what it's like to be in a mentorship. Also, why I highly recommend mentorships because um, this is a whole lot better than going to a school being one out of the 30 people in class. You actually have a person that's already ahead of you that's working professionally that have had that industry experience and they're teaching you one on one. This is Damn, it's so good to be in a mentorship. I'm telling you guys, like, don't knock it till you try it. I know colleges is great for structure and stuff, but I like if you're really serious about it, and I'm not gonna like hold your hands or maybe you or anything like that. I'm gonna just be real with you. I'm gonna give it to you straight. Uh, there's it, there's a lot of hand holding that I've been seeing online through other content creators or through people on TikTok, especially on TikTok, about like, you know, it, take it easy, this, that, and the other. And like, I, I get it, I get it. You don't ever want to burn yourself out or anything like that. But I'm telling you, these are just like, organization skills is something that you can literally teach yourself. Only you know how to uh, work <laughs> the way you need to work, you know? If you need a school, that's fine, go to a school. But I am saying mentorships are the way to go. So as I'm doing this, I am uh, <laughs> very nervous on what I'm going to get back because I've been in plenty of other mentorships where it just seems like I'm, I am slower than the average potato sometimes. <laughs> or it's just the idea of just being graded, that anxiety of like, oh my God, I'm going to turn in my test and I'm afraid that I'm going to get an F and I'm going to have to show this to my parents and then they're going to get mad. Someone's going to get the belt. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this is uh, the homework assignment I've had so far. So uh, let me guys know what your opinions on all this in the comment section down below. If this is helpful, let me know. Uh, I'll be posting more this up and coming week. Uh, I'm trying not to like overdo it because I also need to have time for myself and also to draw on my own. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to watch any more of my videos, either my book reviews, mentorships, uh, episodes, or any of my other educational content or my free resources that I like to give to other artists out there because learning by yourself and on your own is hard as hell and I like to mitigate any of that and if you are also not in that position that you can afford college free education is the best best way to go about it so um, I try to dedicate my entire YouTube channel to providing that <laughs> so yeah if you guys like the video remember to give it a like share it Comment down below your thoughts and opinions and what you guys like to see in this channel, like some changes. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, remember, you guys are always improving because you guys are actually looking for the improvement. So don't try to beat yourself up too much about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.